Hey YouTube, it's Everything Epan here, and today I'm going to be doing a video tutorial on how to install Windows 2000 in VirtualBox. So this is just the basic normal version of Windows 2000. It's the technically the professional version, but this was released before Windows Me and after Windows 98. So we're just going to go ahead and get straight into the tutorial. So obviously the first thing you'll need is if I as if I've said in the beginning of my videos all the time virtualbox um I recommend don't doing 5.0 and going down to this older build section and going to do 5 or 4.3 So once you get virtualbox or if you either have it already you want to open it and then create a new virtual machine on the left here and then you want to just name it Windows 2000. Well, you can name it whatever you want, but that's just what I'm going to name it. You hit Next. I'm going to leave the RAM where it is. I'm also going to leave the hard drive where it is. It's just the basic kind of setup here. Then you want to hit Settings. And you want to hit Storage. Then hit this empty disk. And then hit this over here. Hit Choose a Virtual CD DVD Disk File. And then you want to choose... Um, your Windows 2000 ISO that will be in the description. A product key is not required. So we'll go ahead and just insert that and we'll go ahead and start the virtual machine. So it'll start up with the Windows 2000 setup. And it's going to load a lot of files. Windows setup is starting Windows 2000. And then we should come up with our first screen. There it is. Um, it'll confirm that this is the space that or the hard drive that we want, and we want to hit Enter to install on that. And then we're going to format using the NTFS file system. So just hit Enter. It's going to format your drive, which shouldn't take too long. You see that that was pretty quick. It's going to ch examine your disk. And now it's going to copy files, which will not take long as well. It will take longer than uh, when it checks over your drive. So you just kind of let it sit. If it's stuck on that driver.cab, just don't worry about it. It w might do that. Sometimes it just gets stuck for a little bit, then it continues. Because this is from 2000. As you can see, so we're at 60%. This is just the basic starting of the setup. You've, we've seen this all throughout um, every single Windows, not every single Windows, but lots of Windows OSs are very similar. This is one of the simple ones. So we're at 97, and we are finished. It's going to initialize, initialize the installation, and it will ask to reboot, so just hit enter. You can let the timer out if you want, but... And then you can actually remove the disk now if you want, so that you don't get to press any key to boot from CD up there. It'll get you this. This is what the boot up screen will look like. But we're actually going to be going through the setup, obviously, first. So we will get a GUI interface now. It says insert service pack 4 into the disk, but you do not have to. Uh, you don't have to do it. So, like, if you cancel it, it will. You don't have to. Maybe you do have to leave the disk in. We'll just leave it in and see what happens. Okay, so you do actually have to leave the disk in. So what I, <laughs> I'll have to. Uh, hopefully, you guys don't do that. But you leave the disk in. That's why it was asking for that service pack four thing. So you actually have to leave the disk in. 
So now first it will install devices in this setup process. And this ne the next video probably obviously, not obviously, but after this um, will probably be a Windows XP Home Edition video because you do need this OS or something before it in order to install the Home Edition. I have not been able to install Home Edition standalone. You've, I've had to install a earlier operating system and then put on the Home Edition of Windows uh, XP Home Edition. So about halfway on the installing devices. which hopefully will not take too long. You see the hourglass down here in the bottom of the window. So actually during the installing devices screen, your screen will actually flicker. It says that in like the uh, little description. It says your screen may flicker for a few seconds. Mine did, so normal or more than likely yours will. So then you'll get to the regional settings where it'll ask for your location and your keyboard layout. So just hit next or you can change it if you're from a different country. And then you need to type in a name. I'll just do everything EPAN. And then just name it. I'm going to name it Windows 2000. And then this is where the date will come up with the time zone as well. So I am in central time. And we're going to leave that check mark there. Just hit next. And it's going to install the networking components. So it allows you to connect to other computers, networks, and the internet. And use Internet Explorer. And it'll ask if it's part of a work group. Um, it may be, but mine I believe is. Some your some of yours, if you do this, would be under work group or MS home. But more than likely it's just plain work group. You hit yes, and you actually can I believe connect to it. Hmm. If it doesn't work, uh this doesn't really matter, yeah. You can just hit yes to try it later. So it's going to install components now. So right now it's copying files. Which the bar is going quickly. Even though it says this may take several minutes. It will not take several minutes because you have newer hardware. Lots of cars going by over there. My window's open. Uh, it's going to continue with installing start menu items, registering components, saving settings, and removing any temporary files used. So this is just the final steps of the Windows 2000 installation. So we are getting towards the end of the installation right now on registering components, which is almost finished. But... This is just a really basic and simple installation, but like uh, I've had somebody comment in the description that they're doing a video of a whole like upgrade from Windows 1.0 to uh, like Windows 10 on the same virtual machine. Like they're gonna upgrade it throughout each OS, which is kind of neat. Um, but I actually I really I need some suggestions for videos because I really can't just keep doing virtual box videos or otherwise I'm gonna run out of videos to do and I won't have I'm gonna run out of I eventually I'm going to run out of virtual box videos because I just I can't keep doing the same video but because I mean if I already have like for say a Windows 95 video out I can't put out the same video twice because that's just just weird so the saving settings part's taken a bit, so you can just let it sit, and it should continue the setup after uh, the saving settings is finished. Okay, so it literally, uh, after I just did that cut there, uh, literally just came up with the screen right after I had that cut. So Windows 2000 has been installed successfully, so that is good. 
So go ahead and hit restart now, and now you can take out the disk. And it will start Windows. You'll get the boot up screen again, but this time you will not go into setup. You will actually be able to go into the actual operating system and mess around with it. But preparing network connections, you may hear the startup sound here in a bit. If you hit enter, we should hear the startup sound. Let's see if we get audio. Indeed we do. That is good. We get audio. It'll give you this getting started screen. We're just going to exit that. I'm not sure if we get internet, though. We'll see. You can do... Oh, uh, that's if you're doing it by uh, a phone line. But you can do it through a local area network as well. And that's preferably what a lot of you do now. I do not want to set up an Internet Mail account. We're going to see if Internet Explorer works. It should, since you get the option to do a local area network connection. So it's trying to go on the home page. We'll see. So I do think we get internet access, but I'll try going to Google. Yep, there is internet access. If go to YouTube.com. Yeah, see, I don't think some of these work. Yep, Facebook will work. I think. Oh, no. Google works, but I don't know. I believe the internet does work. So that is my video tutorial for you guys on how to install Windows 2000 in VirtualBox. I'll probably end up making a Windows XP Home Edition video within the next couple of days. Uh, it should be posted within the next couple of days. But that is the video tutorial on how to install Windows 2000 in VirtualBox. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe for more videos. If this helped you out, share the video and uh, like it all as well. And comment with any suggestions of any kind of videos you want to do. It does not have to be just VirtualBox videos. It can be any um, anything that you can think of that I can try and do. But that is it for the video tutorial. Thank you guys for watching again, and I'll see you guys in the next video.